What's up, Danny gang? Good morning, y'all. I'm finna do this coffee pouring and then we're gonna talk. The lighting is not that good, but listen, I don't know what it is, but the lighting just ain't been popping. But anyway, good morning. Um, I'm headed to work, but I stopped and got McDonald's today. So y'all know what I get from McDonald's. I got a medium iced sugar-free vanilla iced coffee. And then I got my espresso shots on the side just so that we can have a little coffee pouring. And excuse me, I've been needing to see what they put in my coffee. So let's go ahead and do this coffee pouring so that we can get on the road and talk. So yep, here is my sugar-free vanilla iced coffee in a size medium. And here are my espresso shots. I always get three espresso shots because y'all know how I like my coffee. So let's go ahead and get this pouring popping. Period. Now it's not as coffee, you know, as coffee pouring as I would like, but you know, it's a little mix, it's a little mix. Um, like I said, I just had to start getting my shots on the side because they would always tell me they were putting them in there and I never saw them. So, you know, get it on the side. You can, that's, that's the good thing about America. You can do anything you want. You can tell them folk, could you please put it on the side for me? You can say, of course. Period. Well, look how she ate that. Mm. It's good. It's strong. So what I'm gonna do with that is, when I get to work, I am gonna add some of my sugar-free vanilla that I keep in my lunch bag, my Starbucks sugar-free vanilla. Y'all know I keep some in my lunch bag, but anyway, good morning. Um, judging by the title, you guys know that this is a what I eat in a day. And hopefully no one's gonna hit me. We are starting with coffee. Come on. <sighs> y'all know. If you know, you know. Hold on, y'all. I'll be right back. Okay, yeah, we back. I had to switch up the camera angle and everything. But good morning. Happy Wednesday, y'all. I'm so excited that it's the middle of the week. Um, I'm filming a what I eat in the day today, which I don't know what I'm going to end up eating. I just have, like, I just feel like drinking. But anyway, before we even get this or what I eat in the day popping, I need you guys to know that I am now seven new members of the Denny. If you want to be a member of the gang, 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 like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. After you hit the bell, put your fist up. Y'all got to fight me. Y'all have to fight me. After you fight me and you're jumped in, and only then do you become a lifetime member. Period. 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 Nothing left to say, like, yeah. period. Period. Yeah. Period. Yeah. Period. 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 So, yeah, y'all, on my way to work, y'all know how I do. I go to work. I hope y'all have a great day. Let's all have a great productive what a money reside. What a money reside. <laughs> um but yeah, I've been making my coffee at home, but today I just felt like stepping out. Y'all know like once a week or every two weeks, I will um, grab some coffee from McDonald's just to switch it up and also just to um, have something different. So um, that's what we just did. I went and got me some iced coffee and it is strong, but I'd rather it be too strong than too light. So what I'll do is, um, like I said, I'll go in and add some sugar-free vanilla and my little mini bottles i will leave those bottles linked in the description box because they're so easy to just put like your favorite syrups so in my lunch bag i always carry the sugar-free cherry syrup to add to like dr peppers and cokes and then i carry sugar-free vanilla just in case i get coffee out or i make coffee at home and it's not sweet enough or whatever i'll just carry it with me so when I get to work, I will definitely add a couple little squirts um, because I need it. But anyway, yep, yeah, I'm going to do what I eat in a day um, slash drink because honestly, y'all, I'm kind of just like in a drinking, like a coffee mood. Um, but I know you guys won't mind if you see coffee again for lunch because honestly, 
I'm just like, I'm, I'm not really in the mood to eat. I've been doing really, really, really good this week. Last week was the first week that I had these braces on, so it was a little bit difficult for me to eat and stuff like that, but for the most part, I did try to keep it keto. Um, I did eat some things that were not keto, of course, um, but this week, it's Wednesday, and so far, so good. I have been strictly keto. I have not cheated or ate anything um, crazy, and I'm just enjoying, you know, the ride. Um, but anyway, good morning. You guys let me know what are you guys having for breakfast. Are y'all breakfast people or y'all coffee people like me? Because I just can't eat in the morning. I be trying, but I just cannot eat in the morning. Like, give me a big cup of coffee that I can sip on till like 10, and I'm good. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's just what we're on right now. I just wanted to come say good morning. Welcome y'all to the vlog. And of course, I will be showing you guys like everything I eat, drink, snack on, vitamins, like I always do. So just keep on watching. And I'll see you guys the next time I eat something. All right, gang, it's lunchtime. And y'all know my lunch is be mad boring. But I'm gonna show y'all anyway, because I see we be getting new people over here every day. So lunchtime, y'all already know I'm having um, a chopped salad. So this is the chopped salad kit from Walmart. I take the croutons out um, and also took the black pepper out this time. But anyway, I got a chopped salad. I am gonna put some Parmesan cheese on it. I am gonna put um, some Caesar dressing on it. And I am gonna add Add this lemon pepper tuna 17 grams of protein and then i have a bottle of water and this is gonna be my lunch y'all this is boring but i promise you dinner is gonna be lit we making the infamous tiktok pasta and making it keto i know i'm late period but we still gonna do it and yeah i'm gonna have my vitamins and then i'm also gonna add this um sugar-free green tea peach mango drink to my water so let's do it all right y'all i'm about to eat my lunch so basically like i said it's just um a caesar chopped salad kit from walmart i like to keep it simple i put a pack of um lemon pepper tuna on top with some parmesan and some caesar dressing that came with the salad i'm about to eat this as well as drink my water take my vitamins and um yeah on my lunch break we're gonna go to Publix so i can get some keto friendly noodles i really like those palmini noodles so i think that's what i'm gonna make my tiktok pasta with so um after this we're going to officially take my lunch break i like to eat my lunch at my desk and then go to my lunch break because i don't want to use none of my lunch break eating do y'all do that okay gang so it's a little bit later as you guys can see i killed my salad like literally called the cops i just committed a murder killed it but now I'll take my vitamins. I think I showed y'all this little vitamin container. I got it from out the uh, Target dollar spot. And it's so cute. It looks like an orange or something. And you just press this button and your vitamins rotate. And then you can just open this little door and get your vitamins. So I'm about to take my vitamins with my peach mango green tea. And after that, I'm probably going to go to lunch in about 30 minutes and um then we'll go to Publix to get um the palmini noodles and i actually think i need a um dish to put in the oven because we don't really cook in the oven we got cookie sheets and stuff so i might have to also go to like walmart i wish i could just go to walmart for the palmini noodles and a dish pan um but i don't know if walmart gonna have palmini noodles and then i'm gonna be upset if i gotta try to make two trips so I'll figure it out. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take my vitamins and I'll see you guys on my lunch. What's up, gang? <laughs> I know y'all probably like, sis, in the last clip, you ain't had it on. Y'all, it's actually the next day. So happy Thursday. Um, this is still a what I eat in the day because now it's lunchtime. So this morning I did have coffee, just like y'all saw in the previous clip. The only difference is this morning I made my coffee at home, like small variations of what I eat. So I was like, let me just keep this going. Um, so, y'all, so I can get a video out on Friday. So, yeah, it's actually Thursday and I'm on my lunch break. Y'all did just see me eat a salad. So, that was all today. So, basically, I'm just combining the days. So, yeah, 
I'm on my lunch break and we're about to head to Publix. I think I want to go to Publix and Walmart on my lunch break, y'all, because um, or like a Dollar General or something like that to get like a glass pan to make this TikTok pasta, y'all. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to go to Publix and I wanted to go to Walmart just to do everything at the same time, but I don't think Walmart um, has the palmini noodles and I don't want to like make so many trips when I can just, you know, try to stay in the same area. <sighs> Headed to Publix to get the palmini noodles. I've had the angel hair ones and I might get the linguine noodles um, this time. But yeah, I'm super excited. I know I'm late to the train, but that's what I'm gonna make tonight. Y'all, I got some bomb, 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 bomb news that I cannot wait to share with you guys. So maybe I will be celebrating probably this weekend. So y'all just stay tuned because y'all, God is just looking down on me and smiling so big and so bright. And all I can say is thank you, Lord, um, for blessing me abundantly. Um, so yeah, y'all. My salad was bomb. Y'all know that's my staple. I think that's what keeps me kind of going is that I already, for the most part, know what I'm going to eat every week. Even if it's just my lunches, I know my lunch every week, for the most part, is going to be a salad with some form of protein. It just makes it easy. It makes it simple. I already know what I'm eating. I don't have to think about it. And then, as you guys see, if you watched my What I Eat in the Days, hopefully you do watch them. You see, a lot of times I'll bring leftovers. Like, if we have tacos, I'll just bring tacos from the night before, um, the taco meat or whatever. I try to make it really easy and simplistic and then just worry about, like, dinner. As far as snacks, y'all know I keep this big box of... Um, pork rinds in my car. It's literally always in my car um, for snacks. I feel like being successful on keto is basically just having everything you need easily accessible. That's me. I have everything I need easily accessible, even if that means in my car. I'm going to make sure I'm keto ready because I don't want to fail because I'm tired of saying like food is good, food is bad. No food is good or bad. I really don't think food is good or bad. I think it is um the quantity that we're eating of these quote-unquote bad foods and stuff like that so i'm gonna stop saying like certain foods are bad and yeah this is good for me because we all know um vegetables are good for us and blah 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 but it's also not a crime to eat a burger so i just been thinking about like how i'm eating and i'm really happy with what i have been eating like i said this is actually week three of no low carb wraps i did eat a low carb um burger bun last night but that was the first one in about three weeks because today is thursday so yeah just moderation and even though y'all know i love a good philly cheesesteak y'all know i love all that i just have to um basically just have to um the police behind me also i'm trying to keep it cute but basically just in moderation i have to just eat them in moderation like don't get too um dependent on like the keto breads and the low carb breads and all the keto desserts like don't get too attached to them just you know try to eat more clean and less processed food and stuff like that because when we get so addicted to like the low carb wraps and low carb tortillas that's when our body stalls that's when we start stalling because we're so used to the low carb wraps and stuff so that's my little spiel just try your best to like you know do the best you can and eat the best you can without overdoing all that you know so yeah that's my little spiel all right, y'all, I had to jump off camera real quick because the police was behind me, and y'all know, like, we don't really like the police on our business. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I had to jump off here right quick, let him go in a different lane. I had to, you know, watch my surroundings because black lives matter uh, let me stop before I get demonetized. But, yeah, so that's my little spiel. Just don't, even myself, y'all know I was eating Philly cheesesteaks, low-carb pizzas, um, those veggie burgers like i was eating all that stuff like every day and then i'm like damn let me see if my weight will change or let me see if my body will feel different and my body does feel different my weight is reflected now and i'm happy about that excuse me 
So yeah, y'all, I am going to bring y'all in Publix because I'm gonna show y'all a little something, something. And also shout out to all y'all that is loving my book hauls. Like I always, like I know what y'all like on my channel. I know what y'all like. Y'all like keto, y'all like vlogs and stuff like that. But I like creating all type of content. So thank y'all so much for showing the little bit of love that y'all showed on my, um, Switch video. <laughs> and thank y'all for showing up and showing out on my book haul video because I want to create different content. I don't want to do the same thing every day. And I know you guys be like, well, we like that content. If you could do what I eat in days every day, we gonna watch it. I appreciate that. Thank y'all. But as a content creator, you know, we don't want to get bored with what we are putting out there. So yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm just super excited to make this TikTok pasta. Um, I was gonna cheat tonight because I do have some very exciting news, so I was gonna cheat and like eat something else, but I am going to go ahead and make my TikTok pasta tonight, I'm pretty sure. And then, um, tomorrow's Friday, so I will start celebrating my wins tomorrow. Um, yeah, I got, I might vlog my whole weekend because I have some fun stuff planned for this weekend, so. I bet you it's this next one. Here I go Dollar Tree. I should, can, I wonder if Dollar Tree has like a glass pan. But anyway, y'all, oh, y'all see my little hair? I just got a little bun up there, y'all. Rocking my natural hair, but I'm gonna put my hair up tonight because, like I said, we got some things going on this weekend, and I don't wanna have to worry about twisting my hair and doing all that foolishness. So, I'm gonna see if baby can braid my hair down, and then I'm gonna put a wig back on. So, but here comes my little bun. I got my little hair out, child. Um, I've been wearing my hair all week, though, but the videos that you guys saw this week were pre recorded. So, no, just doing my little YouTube stuff, pre-recording videos and scheduling them. But anyway, I'm a ch chatty Kathy, so I'll see y'all in Publix. I know in different states and regions and places, everybody don't have the same stores. So wherever y'all at, do y'all have a Publix? I've always had a Publix, I think, except in Louisiana, but there was Publix in Georgia. There's Publix here. Um, so yeah, do y'all have a Publix? Let me know. All right, y'all, let me put my mask on. Okay, so for the people that be asking me what coffee I'm drinking, this is the coffee. It is the Starbucks Cold Brew Single Serve Concentrate. I have both Caramel Dulce and I also have Signature Black. But like I said, it's expensive. Almost $10 for six pods. I usually find them on sale and I usually only get them when they're like $5.99. But yeah, they are $9.49 and this is what they look like. So... I've seen a lot of people asking me about this, and this is what they look like. I also want to try this Khalifa Farms. I hear so many people talking about Khalifa Farms. Cold brew. Y'all know I always be looking for my next coffee, kind of like my next high. But anyway, that's that. Here go another one of my Publix favorites. So these are the black beans that I get when I want to make chili or chipotle bowls or whatever. It is the Eden Organic Black Beans, no salt added. If y'all watch my what I eat in the days, y'all saw me use these one time, and I didn't use that much, and they made a big difference. So these are really good. Also, y'all know I love Rebel ice cream, and Publix usually has them all. They even have my coffee chip in stock. If y'all follow me, y'all know I was so sad when I tried to get it and it was gone. But yeah, they usually have all the flavors of Rebel here, and then they usually have all of the Keto Enlightened here. I've never seen ice cream cake before. Caramel, chocolate, double dough. So yeah, that's why I like Publix, because they usually keep all of the keto ice creams in stock but i don't need any i'm gonna try to find the ice creams i was talking about in the car and show y'all okay y'all here they go so here are the halo top ones they got the peanut butter chocolate and then they also got the sea salt caramel so i bought both boxes when i was here last time and i've eaten two of these already i eat them nightly for dessert when i say these are the most delicious things i have ever tasted as far as ice cream like popsicles go chocolate bars 
These are bomb. I haven't tried these yet, but I will. But these are delicious. Only three near carbs per pop and only two near carbs per pop. Four come in a box, but they are kind of high. Six dollars almost. And then I also see these. I've never seen these before. So this is the caramel dark, dark chocolate peanut butter. I've seen these before, but I've never seen these. These are only one net carb. Wow, that's awesome. So yeah, this is another one of my favorite things about Publix. They usually have so much keto, like ice cream, just keto everything. And then they have some more down here, mint, mint chocolate and dark chocolate. So yeah, they have the WW stuff, really clutch. Okay, gang, so we just walked up out of Publix. So um, hopefully y'all liked walking in there with me. Um, I just showed you guys like a couple of my like Publix staples, things that I've only seen at Publix and the reason why I choose to go to Publix sometime rather than a Walmart or Harris Teeter or Aldi or whatever, because like I said, Publix is high, but they have a lot of freaking keto products. So, I mean, you either gonna pay or you're not. Um, but it has so many things that you wouldn't even think of, like the low carb beans. They usually have the solar bread and buns in there. I didn't go down that aisle, but yeah, let me show y'all what I did get. I think I showed y'all in the store. No, I didn't. Here's my receipt. Let me show y'all what I got. So I am gonna make the TikTok pasta tonight. Um, and I'm gonna use some palmini noodles. I don't know which noodles I'm gonna use though. They did have them um, two for five. So they were $2.50 each. Um, they are four net carbs per serving. A serving is um, 75 grams. There are three servings in here. Typically, I eat about one serving. So I do eat about four grams of carbs because um, it's only me. So when I do make these, I usually make the whole can with whatever I'm cooking and then just like eat some, you know, have three different portions of it. So I did pick up the Palmini um, angel hair. I really, really, really like these. I had these last week when I made spaghetti and meatballs. So yeah, 20 grams of, I mean, 20 calories per serving, four grams of carbs. And yeah, go check out my last videos and see how to make these. I'll probably show y'all tonight how to make them. Super easy, just rinse them. Um, I made them straight on the stove top but um you can boil them or do whatever you want to do so i got the angel hair and then i also got the linguine i think i'm gonna do the linguine tonight and again 20 calories per serving four grams of carbs pretty much the exact same thing um and yeah you just drain them add your choice of sauce in a medium saucepan, turn the heat on, mix, enjoy. But I might boil them for like eight minutes tonight just to get kind of like that um, pasta uh, consistency. But when I did it last time and I had spaghetti and meatballs, period, so bomb. And I had just put my braces on and I was still able to like chew them and eat them. So they were soft, but for that more softer texture, I might boil them in water for like eight minutes tonight. And then the only other thing that I got was this pan. And I know y'all probably like, girl, you bought that from the grocery store. First of all, I did because I didn't feel like going to another store because I have to get back to work. And also this was really cheap. It was like six bucks for this anchor, um, hocking two quarts, um, oven pan so this is what i'm gonna make our tiktok pasta in tonight and i'm actually getting excited about it i just never had feta so i don't know if i'm gonna like it but that's why i just got this small pan i'm just gonna make a small portion for myself and if i like it great if i don't i won't be too mad you know because i don't think baby's gonna have any but yeah that's all i got from Publix, and um yeah i'm pretty full so honestly i doubt that i will eat anything until dinner you know like when you've been on keto for a while you just kind of lose the urge to snack well at least for me i don't feel like snacking unless like my cycle or something is coming so you know every now and then you know i'll eat some pork rinds or something like that but i don't really like feel like snacking a lot anymore um I did used to like to snack on nuts. And when I had the braces on the top, I still would eat nuts. I've showed you guys the nuts that I get from like TJ Maxx and Home Goods. Braces on the bottom, 
baby girl braces on the bottom is something different so yeah but anyway it's a beautiful day out i feel fantastic but anyway let me um get back to work y'all already know if i eat something i'll show y'all if not i will just pull you guys back out when it's time for like dinner and dessert so All right, gang, so I'm home and I'm about to go ahead and start dinner since it takes like 40 minutes. So I told y'all earlier I was going to go ahead and try this infamous TikTok pasta before my tomatoes went bad. So let me show you everything that I'm using. So I'm going to be using, obviously, some extra virgin olive oil. I have avocado oil too, but I'm going to just use olive oil because that's what everybody on TikTok using. Um, I'm also going to just use some onion powder, some pepper. I'm going to use some minced garlic um and then i have the tomatoes right here y'all this is a lot of tomatoes but i love tomatoes so i have the tomatoes right here and then i have my feta so i am using this frigo crumbled feta y'all know they asked for a block of feta but everybody is cooking this so there's no blocks of feta so i got two of these i don't know if i'm gonna use both of them i'm sure babe is not eating this so it's just going to be for me. So I don't want to make too much. And then I have some fresh basil because that's what you're supposed to put on it at the end. You know, for a little flavor, a little garnish. So um, this is the um, pan I'll be using. I'm going to go ahead and assemble everything. So the first thing that you got to do is go ahead and pour your tomatoes into the pan. I don't think I'm going to use all of these. I think maybe that's good enough half of this container and then i'm going to make a hole in the middle of the tomatoes because that is where the feta goes so i'm gonna do an instagram um boomerang so i'll be right back okay so here is the cheese i think that might be enough y'all but i'm not sure um so now that i have that situated i'm gonna go ahead and drizzle some olive oil over everything y'all don't know how much don't know how little but i'm just gonna coat like everything make sure everything is evenly freaking coated then i'm gonna go in with some seasonings i'm pretty sure you guys can season this how you want so i'm gonna use some onion powder and just do like a little bit of seasoning because y'all know i love onion i was gonna chop up some fresh onion i still might so i'm doing a little bit of onion powder i'm doing a little bit of pepper i'm gonna do a little bit of minced garlic hold on y'all so I'm going to do a little bit of minced garlic and I'm just going to place it, you know, strategically around. It already smells good though, y'all. It smells like an, At an Italian dish. So yeah, I'm just putting garlic like on the four corners. Boom, boom, boom. I love garlic, so I'm going to just put a little more garlic in there. Yeah, I think this is good. A little more garlic in there um and then let's see what else i'm doing so yeah this is the base of it i think this is good i'm not going to use any more cheese or anything i may add a little more seasoning and i may add do i have some onion i may add like some onion and bell pepper but yeah this is what it looks like so now i'm gonna pop it in the oven for 30 minutes on 400 and i'll be back um i am going to be using these palmini noodles like i showed y'all earlier i'm going to use the linguine um palmini noodles and i'm about to go ahead and pour these in the strainer let me not break a nail y'all i'm gonna go ahead and open these Okay, I did it with one hand. Let's see. Let's see. That's my strong hand, my more dominant. Mm, okay. Let's see. So this is what the linguine looks like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it in this strainer so that I can rinse it. And then we're gonna boil these noodles for maybe eight minutes. So I'll be back after I let the pasta sauce cook and when it's time to assemble. So let's go. Y'all let me know, did y'all try this? Did y'all like it? Okay, just set the timer for 30 minutes. 
And while I wait on that, I am sipping this slightly mighty locale IPA. Y'all know I'm a fan of beer, so you know y'all let me know do y'all drink beer because i'm a fan of beer i like it this can has 3.6 net carbs and it is like i said a low calorie um ipa i got this from world market me and babe love world market and it's 95 calories 3.6 net carbs and um it is a locale IPA brewed with mighty aromic hop varieties that deliver tropical notes with a slightly sweet balance provided by monk fruit extract. So, yep, this is dogfish head, and I'm going to enjoy this while we wait. So, I'll be back when it's time to assemble. Right, gang so here are my noodles i have washed and drained them several times and now i'm going to boil them for about six to eight minutes just so they can get kind of like that soft softer noodle texture and then i have my basil cut up right here that i'm going to garnish the top of the pasta with my water's boiling and let's take a sneak peek there is the sauce roasting so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and boil these and I'll be back when it's time to assemble. Okay, gang, so this is what the infamous TikTok pasta looks like. And y'all know I just did a keto twist on it. Um, so basically, y'all saw how I made it. So at this point, you're just supposed to mash. I burn myself. You're just supposed to slowly mash all of the tomatoes and cheese and everything together because you're creating a sauce, obviously, for your pasta. Um, I baked it for 30 minutes, and um, it smells good. It smells like an Italian restaurant in, my, in our apartment. So um, all of my tomatoes, I see, did not get mushy, so I probably could have kept this in the oven for a little while longer, but I'm just going around mashing it like so like this like that because that's my business and i'm just mashing it all up i'm excited i love pasta <laughs> and then i also did boil my noodles and now they're sitting right here At, once you boil them for a while they just get that soft texture um more like noodles so now that I have kind of mashed all of my tomatoes, I'm going to go ahead and stir it all up. Y'all, it actually smells and looks really good. I was a little bit nervous for feta, but it kind of smells and reminds me of like Olive Garden, um, like that. So I'm going to mash this all up. Okay. Oh, yeah, y'all. This looks bomb. But it don't smell good in here. So you just mash it all up. So now this made your pasta sauce. And y'all saw I added just garlic. Period, y'all. This actually smells really good. So now that I've stirred it all up, I'm going to go ahead and incorporate my noodles. And like I said, I just used one can of palmini noodles because I'm sure babe is not going to eat none of this. And I don't want to have too much. So I'm just taking these noodles and putting them over here so that I can stir it all up. left and just put these in here y'all this is a super simple um recipe it takes like 40 minutes like total and i like this because if you have like kids or whatever you can kind of do it all simultaneously so as it's cooking in the oven you can boil your noodles and all that so now i'm just stirring it up and getting everything all mixed y'all i think i'm gonna love this 
I'm not gonna eat till a little bit later, but at least it'll be all done for me. I like my pasta to be um, creamy, so I'm, I'm happy about this. Okay, gang, so this is what mine looks like. And the absolute last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add some fresh basil on top. And this was just that little pack that I showed you guys. I just pulled all the leaves off and chopped it up. I used the whole pack of basil. I'm a fan of basil, so. Get all my basil. And then I'll just give it one more good start, guys. If y'all try this recipe or if you guys have tried it, because I'm like a couple weeks behind, y'all. I'm behind on this trend. But if you guys try it, let me know. If you guys made it keto style, let me know which noodles y'all used. And yeah, this is what it looks like. When I taste it and make my plate, I'll come back and show you guys. But super easy meal that took like 40 minutes. Period. Alright gang, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. I just wanted to come back and let y'all know that the TikTok pasta was bomb. Like, I really, really liked it. So, if y'all try it, let me know. Babe did not like it. So, y'all let me know in the comments. Did y'all like it or not? And then also, I'm just showing you guys this Halo Top ice cream again because that is typically what I have been enjoying for dessert Um, this week. My favorite is the peanut butter chocolate ones, but... Y'all, try them and let me know. They have less carbs than any of the other desserts like ice cream I have seen besides Rebel. So, yeah, if you guys made it all the way to the end of this video, go ahead and drop the little ice cream cone down below because Halo Top did good. See y'all later. Mm -hmm.